Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we're doing an update on the greenhouse. And this update could not be more positive. I'm telling you, I'm just, I'm tickled to death. Got a few little things to work on, but I'm just so excited. Look at the way, I mean, look at this. One tomato plant is clear up to my chest tall. This one, I have a creature eating the top of it. I don't know what it is. I still haven't got this side over here buttoned up, which I need to do. I'm going to work on that now. But we've already did a video on the aquaponic. We've already did a video on the self-wicking. Now we're going to do a video about everything else. Except for my kids' stuff over here, which that's they're doing their own videos on that. So before... Um, you know, you've seen me plant all these up here from start, from seed. Uh, these are a couple of plants I picked up from Lowe's for a dollar a piece. One of them did die out. It was a lavender plant. Very, very, very strong smell of lavender from it. Although it doesn't smell like lavender to me, but then again, who knows? It did finally die out. The reason I got these for a dollar a piece, you can see the regular three ninety eight, was because they were past their prime. So, anyways, my little monkey planter back there, whatever it's called, uh, what is it actually called? Mist Sage, Amazon Mist Sage, I don't know. Anyways, just, excuse me, it's doing pretty good. These are doing pretty good. Uh, these are Lovey Dovey, Super Tunia Lovey Doveys. They're doing still good. And up there is doing really good. You know, that's just a mixture of things playing it up there. And over here we have some more cucumbers and stuff planted. Uh, planted all them from seed. Even though they're in the bonnie plants, those are actually what my tomato plants and stuff come in. So, and then on to the tomato plants. Look at that. Like I said, got something eating the top of this one off, or at least I think it is. Uh, although this one over here is no taller, and it don't look like nothing's eating it. And then this one over here in the back, that was the one. Let me try to get this corn out of the way for just a second. So if your view for a second here isn't that great, just bear with me, please. I'm trying to get my corn to go where it's supposed to go. It, uh, it's like a child. It don't listen the best. All right, there we go. I think that's pretty good. And this one down here, this little dude is not doing the best in the world. It was the brand or a, um, I can't even see what the sticker says down there, but it was one that I had never had before. And you know what? I said that, and looky here. It is actually growing into, okay, so it's doing just fine. It was actually growing into the next thing here so yeah it's not doing too bad it's still it's up past it now mind you when I got these go back and look at the videos these were some small little things and look at how good they've done now so proud of my little things the boys bought me say dad's garden and my little things say cucumbers and peppers even though there's none of that planted in there uh, they're all over here and over there but oh I'm just I'm so happy, and you can see I got my scissors out here. I've already done a little bit of work. I cut that lavender plant all the way down, and I cut some stuff off of my, um, oh, I'm going to walk over here and put these up. Um, my lettuce plants, I cut some dead off of it. And just, you know, trying to generally go in through here. But you can see these little holes right here, like right there, and like right there. They're little moles, and I'm thinking the moles are getting in there, and I don't think I can ever stop them, because this thing does just sit on ground. But, oh, I, I just can't tell you how proud I am of this whole greenhouse situation. That greenhouse was like 30 bucks. It's just, oh. Now, right now, I've had it open since yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and get you set up in the stand, because I'm kind of crunched for time today. And I'm going to actually 
close it up with you guys watching. Um, not that you guys need to know how to close up one of these things, but I'm just trying to kill two birds with one stone. Let me get these things closed up. And I'm telling you, I just couldn't ask for anything any better. Well, yeah, I, I guess I could. I would really like to ask for a bigger one of these. They're cheap. Less than a hundred bucks, I can get a huge one, but I don't have room for it. <laughs> or do I? I mean, I don't have much of a backyard. We may take a walk back there in just a second. If I had to have some wishes, and without wishes, we're not living life, because we always got to wish for something. I wish I had one that was a whole lot bigger and I wish it had a regular door. That zip up door just seems to be a pain and an aggravation. It works great. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, I could come back here and I do get sun back here, but man, it would take up what little bit of a backyard I got. I've already killed the grass back here by putting all my leaves in the fall last year and that already upsets me enough i don't want to take up what little bit of land i do have because i do have two growing boys and i'm telling you what i think them boys are growing faster than the plants in here As a matter of fact i think they're growing faster than the weeds in jared's flower garden or garden which is crocker homestead which he went out on his own well for a little while he's on his own blah 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 you guys don't even know what i'm talking about but anyways uh yeah my boys are just growing like weeds they're just boom 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 every time i turn around you know we need new shoes we need new pants we need new shirts you know next i'm afraid they're going to say we need bigger beds dad but you know gotta love them bless their hearts they're they're doing really 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 good but I, I, and they love this greenhouse probably as much as, if not more than I do. And they're already begging me, dad, when you get moved and you get a bigger one, can we have that small one? Now I'm going to be honest with you. My heart got a little warm and I thought, oh man, I could just leave everything in there for them. You know, give them my self wicking tubs and my aquaponic buckets and all of that and you know, then one could have one side, one could have the other. And if they really did good one summer on it, I would eventually buy them each their own. Uh, no, they wanted it to be a playhouse. They're like, Dad, we could so like camp in there. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. But, you know, whatever. One maybe if it was cleaned out. But th that's what they were all excited about. And I swear, well, I don't swear, but I think... When I get moved, I think the one that I want is a 12 by 20. And if, if memory serves me right, I think it was only like $89. I may end up buying two and letting them have one just kind of as a playhouse. If it's got a door on both sides, maybe they could open it up and get a little breeze through there. It wouldn't be so hot. But then again, a tent would do just the same. But they have tents, but you know, tents are low sided and these are kind of taller sided. And, to them, this is more of a house. But that's on down the line. Anyways, I'm rambling, so I'm going to get off of here. Uh, once again, this is General Vlog Videos. Please like and subscribe. And once you've subscribed, click that bell notification down below. And I think you have to now click it and click all, whatever. So it, it tells you when I post the next video. And who knows? On future videos, you may see my boys staying in a greenhouse who knows with us our life changes so much day by day and i wouldn't have it any other way anyways you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night and we will see you on the next video